Welcome acoustic guitar lovers to the downtown studio of Jewett Guitars in Cleveland, Ohio, which is also the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm showing you a brand new model that we introduced in 2022. This, my friends, is something I've always wanted to build. As all of you know, the double O is my favorite body style, but I've never built one in a 12 fret version, and I did. This gorgeous guitar is just a little bit of a finger picking dream. It flat picks really well, as you'll see in just a sec. But let me just talk a little bit about some of the features on this guitar. This was an unique guitar in that I showed some video of it being sprayed in the spray booth and some guy bought it right out of the spray booth. It wasn't even done yet. So consequently, he got to pick the bridge style, some of the appointments up here and so on. So if you're enter ever interested in one of my guitars and you see it in the process of being built, give me a shout and it might be for sale. Anyways, this guitar, I'm going to start up at the top and we'll work our way down and talk about some of the unique features on this double O. Starting up here at the top, I have a new peg head style and this has no logo on it because with this peg head style, I always use really outrageously figured wood. And in this case, I've got some really wild grain rosewood for the peg head plate. So all I do on this is I put my little signature diamond and cat eye inlay and the truss rod cover then has the Jewett logo in a decal as I hope you can see there. This has the uh, Goto 510 mini tuners with the Cosmo finish, which is kind of that smoky gray finish. And I've duplicated the rosewood on the back here. As always, one and three quarters inch bone nut up here at, uh, at the nut and at the bridge, I've got two and one quarter inch bridge spacing, which is pretty standard setup with a bone saddle. Uh, this has a rosewood bridge and, uh, excuse me, no, this has a zircote bridge with a zircote fingerboard. Zircote, if you don't know, comes from Mexico. It's sometimes called or referred to as Mexican ebony. It's a very, very hard wood. It makes a very great fingerboard and it's got some really nice figure, some black striping going on down in the middle of it, which is really cool looking. The bridge also, like ebony, is very hard and transmits tone very, very well. Uh, bone bridge pins. Um, I have a really beautiful, I just love the way this came out. This is an oven call solid wood rosette. Just a very simple, maybe about a half an inch wide with some black, white, black purfling strips around it, but it's really a good color and it matches or it ties in with the color of the zircote and the uh, sides and back, which we'll get to in just a sec. This is a 5A grade Adirondack red spruce top, meaning it's a master grade top. Uh, it's not a 6A. Well, let me backtrack a little bit. 5A is really close to top of the, top of the line, but it's, um, it's just got some kind of color going on in it and some grain, which will kind of knock it down a little bit. But tonally, it's a master grade. It's just a really sweet looking guitar top. Has that classic Adirondack look to it with those red lines or red grain lines going out at the edges. Really nice looking. And on this guitar, I used a kind of a rope binding and purfling scheme, which came out really, really nice. But the real treat on this guitar is the sides and the back, which are that classic sinker mahogany you've all heard me talk about that has been salvaged from the Hudson River. Uh, originally, it probably would have wound up, if it had not sunk, it probably would have wound up on a 30s or 40s Martin because that was the sawmill that was supplying Martin at the time. Now, what I did on this guitar is something that you'll probably never find, but I took from the same log or the same billet of mahogany, we made the neck 
and the back and sides. So all the wood on the neck, back, and the sides are matching. But look at that color. It's just gorgeous. And there's no stain on this at all. This is the natural color of the mahogany. And you pair it with that really blonde looking Adirondack spruce. And it's just visually, it's a very good looking guitar. Now, I've got a bound, as I said, rosewood fingerboard. The binding on this is rosewood with a sycamore purfling line. So that sycamore, as I've said in other demos, turns a little bit of a gold color under the finish, so it looks really cool. No back stripe, and on this one, we did a wedge in Oregon Myrtle. I hope you can see that without some glare. Just a really pretty wedge. Um, not too much else to talk about other than the finish is my standard buffed gloss finish. Uh, the neck is kind of a semi-gloss, but it's a buff semi-gloss. It just feels really nice. And this is a short scale 12 fret. So most 12 frets, guitars like a, a triple O and other ones are a long scale. This is a short scale, so it's even shorter. So you've got some real opportunities with this guitar to really bend some notes and dig in and pick that blues if you want to. So let's give this guitar a listen. Listen to the sustain, and it's got some punch to the bass, mostly due to the deeper body on this one. This is a little bit deeper body than you would find on a standard double O. It's about three and a half or maybe even larger here at the neck and four and a half or even maybe four and five eighths here at the uh, bottom end. So I guess you could call this a deep body double O. Anyways, it does give it more volume and when you play a chord like a G or a you've really got some punch going on. I love playing this guitar. Mm -hmm. 